Welcome back to the 80th NFL Draft. The Cleveland Browns are on the clock with two first-round picks, and it has not been uh, a good season and offseason. Johnny Football, rehab. Josh Gordon, suspended for a year. Justin Gilbert, number one pick year ago, personal issue, the corner, according to head coach Mike Patton. And then for using a cell phone to communicate to coaches during the games, Ray Farmer, who's making the picks, but the first four games of the season, he can't really be active as the GM. So the Browns, who picked 12 and 19, who despite it all were seven and nine, remember Hoyer's gone, Johnny Footballer, Josh McCown is going to be your quarterback. A lot of what they've touched lately is turned to stone. Here's a draft with a chance for them to pick twice and see what they do. Cleveland Browns, of course, in a division where Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and Cincinnati are formidable in playoff. With the 12th pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Danny Shelton. Defensive tackle, Washington. He's my favorite player in the draft. He's just, he's not only is he an All-American, an academic All-American, he's, of course, Samoan heritage, which is why the dress tonight. His mom preached education. He's an emotional player from Washington. He's, as we say, scholar in addition to athlete and a unique kind of player on the inside of the defensive line. Yes, yeah, so you think about Mike Pettin, Haloti Nada connection. There was comparisons to Haloti Nada with Danny Shelton until he ran that 5 6 four, 40. And that took him from the top 10, moved him down a bit. He goes 12, which he's got to be thrilled about. I really thought going into 2014, he was a plugger. He was a stay at home type. He wasn't going to be a very high pick, maybe a second round pick. But he kicked it up several notches. He became a dominant player this past year. He played the best football of his career. 93 tackles. How many times do you see it? I didn't interior defensive lineman lead his team in tackles and he did so most of the year had nine sacks 16 and a half tackles for loss his first three seasons guys combined seven and a half tackles for loss two and a half sacks seven and a half went to 16 and a half two and a half went to nine he became a much more dominant presence getting into that backfield lewis and wreaking havoc absolutely 126 rushing first downs last year that's what the Cleveland Browns defense gave up. Seven more than the next closest team in the National Football League. He'll address that right away. Now, as far as his pass rush is concerned, Chuck Smith, former defensive end of Atlanta Falcons, a teammate of mine, worked with Danny Shelton, and he told me, look, do not sleep on his third down pass rush ability. It is going to improve. His conditioning is going to improve. He's going to continue to prove as far as being a three down football player. He's going to be a nice addition to this multiple scheme that the head coach and defensive coordinator like to run up there in Cleveland. So this is a great pick for the Cleveland Browns. He's a gifted athlete. We, we take that 5-6-4 and say he's not a very good athlete, but he had a 30 uh, and a half vertical. 30 and a half vertical for a kid who's 6 2 3 40, did 34 reps. So athletically outstanding. The 40 time bothered a lot of people. Yes. How many 5 6 four, 40 defensive tackles make it big in the NFL? But he has functional playing speed. You see all the plays that he makes on the numbers. His stamina, his effort, his playing range is rare for a big man. He can crush double teams. I love the way this kid plays. I hope Mike Fenton tells Shelton to knock on Johnny Manziel's door, Josh Gordon, Gilbert, get these young Cleveland Browns together. They do have a lot of talent. They made themselves better today. Hey John, on our pregame, we interviewed the commissioner. We say he's got to be ready for the chest bumps and everything. Well, uh, just a moment ago, when this young Young man was drafted check this out and not only the hug and there goes the commissioner so he made his first sack at the draft well we say boom he plays with leverage right he was a shot putter wrestler <laughs> in high school Roger Goodell found that out well and and he um, can he be hello not can he be a Don Terry Poe can he be a Vince Wilfork those are those are the best in the business at those positions that's a lot to put on a young man but you know he's going to work at it. Yeah, I think making those kind of comparisons, it's just unfair for players right, when they agree. come into the National Football League. You're just setting them up for failure. You're putting expectations on them that are just unreasonable. One thing I do know is this. In that division with Pittsburgh, Cincy, Baltimore, they can run the rock. And you better be able to shut them down. So as John said, you can get the third down and start rushing the passer. He'll help them do that.
Well, he is certainly the most colorful dressed player that we're going to see at any of the draft. And so the new Cleveland Brown, Danny Sheldon, Susie Culver is with the new Brown. Well, Boom, heritage is such a big part of who Danny is. What does this night mean for the people you represent? It means everything to, to the people who, who are here with me right now, the people who are watching back home in Washington, Samoa, Australia, California, everybody in, in the East Coast. Man, it's just it's crazy to think that I finally made it. Only player in college football this year, not only an All-America on the field, but an academic All-America. What does that mean when you are playing, when you're on the field? It just makes me that, that, that much better of a player, you know? I'm going to do, do the work in the classroom, do the work in, in the film room, and be prepared for the game. And, and we discussed what a contrast of emotions tonight, the joy of being selected, and the sadness that this is the anniversary of the death of your older brother. You being here and accomplishing this, how does that honor him? Uh, I don't even know. I mean, like, I have plans with my family for tomorrow because tomorrow's the, the one, the four-year anniversary, and so, um, you know, I'm going to have to reschedule, but it's just, it's just crazy to think that I'm here with my family celebrating it, and I know my brother's watching from up above. And you know how proud he is. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see my family. Congratulations, Thank Danny. You. Boom. All right, Susie, congratulations.